previously on the Never Stop Tour 2, presented by Carl's Bait and Tackle. If you guys want to cop this merch, it will be in our link in the description. You also can win an amazing fully rigged bass boat. Fully rigged. Fully rigged bass boat. And you get to come fishing with John and I. Oh, air spot, mate. Yep. Oh! Oh, I got him! Oh, I got him! Get him! Oh, I got him! Never Stop to me is more of a reminder. Go and do something new. Never stop exploring, never stop fishing, never stop going to the unknown. We don't have any idea what we're getting ourselves into. Two high school buddies grab some rods, hook a boat, hop in a car, and travel to places either of us have ever been to. I just got a feeling it's gonna get worse. Not this again, are you kidding me? He's on. That's another big one. Get in there! Just what I'm talking about. I'm gonna shock you. I'm gonna shock you. I suppose next time we'll see you guys, we'll be in a different state. On the ocean. He's coming out of the lake. Watch out, watch out. He's coming out of the lake. Oh my god. Oh my god. Welcome to the Never Stop Tour 2. Oh, oh, my, god. Right oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, oh they're going off. Oh, There's a bunch of them. Oh, they're, oh, they're right my in the god. corner. They're everywhere. Oh my god, they're Oh my gosh. We just rolled through the oh, spot, so which right Evan on. saw a few. Tuna boss, and as soon as we started throwing bait in the water to show up across the, the school, there was like probably 15 that started to boss. Our bait is out there right now. He's putting us in position. He's also still chumming on, too to on, get the good. school really, really pumped up. They are busting around the school. Still under that bird. Still I'm still free spooling mine. Yeah, stop there. Stop. stop. Hold it in here. Both of them, you think? Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, they're busting behind us still, dude. They're behind us. Yeah. Yesterday today, but it hasn't. So we're gonna catch fun, baby. That's totally fine. It was fun. We gave it the lap, the tour, saw some big tuna, got some calicos, did not see yellowtail. The first trip this year, I've not seen yellowtail. Whatever. Well, we're heading back into the harbor because we got dodge by some yellowtail but that's fine because in my opinion really what what San Diego fishing is all about is going after calico bass and spotted bay bass or sandies or sand bass or whatever so that's what we're gonna do we're going to put Evan's boat back in the slip then we're gonna put the low in the salt water we're gonna fish from there and try to catch some spotties one of my again one of my other like bucket list fish already knocked out the calico tomorrow we're gonna get a really good taste of that but for now we're just gonna try to catch some fish because it's, it's just nasty out there. Like it's windy, the water clarity is not there. It's not prime conditions. So, you know, this whole tour is about pulling audibles. If something doesn't work, we're not giving up. We're just gonna do the next thing. The next thing just happens to be fishing right here in the harbor for some bodies, bass fishing style, throwing casting rods. I'm pumped for this. All right, I'd say we start like right right here okay. uh, not you want to fish the ones that have a lot of outer pilings not just like the ones that have like every third we'll start on this row and we'll work all the way up and then we'll work the inner ones the inner sanctum inside there so what is this a hundred dollars on the line biggest one a hundred dollars on the line for the biggest one so most okay i'll do most most is always but the better angler in my most. opinion but i'm not giving you any tips or anything that's you're gonna have fine. to just figure this out that's fine i'm not gonna even call out cats you're gonna literally if you catch a fish you get to control the boat so if you're so not catching, saying, you know I'm done talking about spotties. Except for you should just go. Yeah, we got fish. Where should I start? Start right here. I'm waiting. Though. Like, start you sit right down. at those double pipes. No way. <laughs> no way. Unreal. That's gonna break off. If that, if you if you land that fish, I'm gonna be shocked. No way. Oh, I got him! Oh! <laughs> so oh. gnarly. Okay, hang on, both like, <laughs> We're oh. on the play. Pretty out. One zero zero. The local takes the lead. Hundred dollars. Just like bat. Like that is just like bass fishing. Like you guys realize we're flipping pilings with like bass gear. Like you got that on a drop shot. 
Look at that beautiful. Isn't that a gorgeous fish? Yeah. Is that a, that's a, a spotted? See, they got like little teeth. That's a spotted bay bass. That's a spotted bay bass. It's like your average size spotted bay bass right there. So gnarly. Evan's got himself a nice spotty. Perrick and I are still working on our first one. Perrick actually broke off. Probably had a pretty nice one on, but we're just flipping jigs. This feels so weird. This feels so surreal. This is what we were doing at the beginning of this trip. Now we're doing it in salt water for a fish species I've never even caught before. So I'm hoping to at least get one opportunity this fish. Always want to catch one. He's oh, oh my god, you lost him. Oh no. You're on a roll right now. No, dude, he got Earth. me. Oh, he wrapped me up in the piling, dude. Took my bait. That quick? See, I got the remnants of a piling on. Oh! No way. No way, he has a spotty. Oh. A little spotty. <laughs> yes! No! Fish number one. There we go, my first spotted bay bass um, ever. That's my first fish of the day too. Um, just on a little drag and drop. Threw it actually off the docks. We're all fishing the docks. This one came off the docks. Definitely a little guy. We need a bigger one. You know, you tell me this fish doesn't have some spunk. Look at them all gill flared out. Like, genuinely offended by the fact that I caught him. It's like every bro at a bar at midnight. Is that a bite? That was a bite. Yes! Let's go! Yes, let's go! Spotty! My first ever spotty. Caught my first ever calico today. And my first ever spotty bay bass. That is, this is a huge day for me, man. Like seriously, two big bucketless fish. Look at that. How can you tell me these guys are the coolest freaking fish that swim in these, these harbors? Like what the hell is going on? He looks like a smallmouth with a crazy dorsal. That fish fought so hard. I'm using a 7.6 favorite big sexy, which is like one of my heaviest six that I carry in my boat at all times. And that guy dogged me on a little biospawn swim bait. Hell yeah. So, since I've accomplished that, I'm kind of taking it easy and starting to organize the boat. Um, but I was just going through some stuff that I was thinking we could use for tomorrow's fishing mission, that being for giant calico bass. Just pulled out this monster swim bait that we picked up in Phoenix at the meetup. And uh, I was like, yo, will they eat this? And he's like, for sure. So, I'm just packing some lures that I would normally use for bass together right now so we can throw them tomorrow. Calico, calico bass and spotted bass live in a completely different world than largemouth and smallmouth. But they have the same habits, and uh, a bait like this will catch them across the board. I'm excited for tomorrow. Like, if you guys think like today was cool and you know very interesting and diverse on this channel, like tomorrow's gonna be really rad. So yeah, this is gonna go in the in the to-go box apparently. These monsters. Oh my God! Got him. Oh, he's got a good one. How's it feel? He's got a good nice. One. Heck yeah, fish number two for me. Come oh, on. nice body. Yeah, there's a better there we one. go. Mine's a little bit better this time. We got my first decent one. I'd call it about a pound. They're so hard to grab. They've got like a dorsal fin that'll poke you. Second fish for me. Absolute beauty. So cool. I love the application that you could fish for bass. Like you use the same stuff that you would fish for bass, and you could catch these babies right here in salt water. Just another crazy species to knock off the list. Well, it is officially the end of the day. Um, we've got, I got two, we got two, John got one. So let's say, we're just gonna call it a draw. We're gonna let John, you know, we'll call you a draw too, because you, you probably had triple the quadruple amount of bites as we did. He was crushing the bites out here. But, John's rigging up for tomorrow. Tomorrow's a big day because we're getting up extra early. You know, we've been, yet, this morning we got up, we were on the water by six. So you wanna be on the water by five tomorrow? Yep. By 5 a.m. and we have an hour drive, so we have to get up at you know 3:30, 4 o'clock to fish for these calico bass. It's gonna be worth it, though. Yeah, it's gonna be worth it. It's gonna be so much and that's why we're hyping it up. We're getting ready. We're rigging up some rods. And it may be one of my favorite fishing trips to like tomorrow. Not not in the sense that like I'm anticipating us crushing them. Like I feel like we're definitely gonna catch them, but just the whole mission. We're gonna wake up super early tomorrow. You know, again fish with Evan and fish of ecosystem I have never ever even heard of, seen of. Um, only dreamt about in my childhood dreams as, like I said previously, Calico Bass has, has been a lifelong uh, mission. I've always wanted to catch a really good one on, on a bass rod, which I'm rigging up right now.
Hollywood. Good morning. Welcome to the Never Stop Tour 2. We are on our way to a location that I believe is just a few clicks north. Actually, it's about an hour and 30 north. We're going to meet up with Evan again. And we are going to tackle San Diego once more to try to chase after that fish you guys got a little taste for um, just in yesterday's video, which will probably not be posted yesterday, but you got what I'm saying. Yesterday we fished with Evan and caught some fish, um, and we got a taste for calico bass, but today we're eating the whole meal. We're going to chase after some bigs. They're giant swim baits, pretty much the best way you can fish for saltwater species. Um, we got kind of a late start this morning. We're supposed to wake up at 4 a.m. Somehow it's 6.20 right now, and we're just leaving, so it's fine. It's, it's not the best thing ever, but yesterday we got wrecked. We were so tired from driving from Phoenix to here, uh, and then waking up early yesterday. Like, we are... For the first time in this trip, fully sleep deprived. But if it means that we can catch some fish, then I'm gonna hope for it. So we're on the way. Should get there in hour and 32. Wow, that's cool. That's how to catch these fish. Yesterday we caught a calico, that was on live bait on a big point. Not calico fishing, today is calico fishing. We've got a 26 foot boat and uh, we are going to shoot out 60 miles to this little island which I haven't explained to you guys earlier, which is like Catalina Island. I see casting rods and I'm, and I'm pumped. I see jerk baits, I get pumped. I see big swim baits. Today's gonna be like probably one of my favorite days on this entire tour yet. I am just really pumped. Hopefully we prevail and succeed in the afternoon. Let's eat them. We are legitimately in the middle of nowhere right now, off of uh, San Clemente, is that how you pronounce it? Yeah, San Clemente Island. San Clemente Island, holy smoke. So we passed that one island to make it to this one, so I think a total of 60 miles out in the middle of the Pacific to fish oh, for, yeah. uh, probably like three foot leader. No, less, less. Let's just, yeah, that'll, do. That'll, that'll do. Thank you. Big, that'll do. I'm getting rigged up right now. Literally on the rigged rod. Rigged up on the rigged rod. A little bluegill pattern, I guess, for the bluegill that run in these uh, waters, right? This is a big bait. Uh, maybe not for largemouth, but you know, this is you know a nice, good sized bait. That's a big bait. We fish a variety of colors. We really like the oranges. So the stuff with the orange belly in there is do really cool. Do you like cool. that stiff? Like it seems like it's a stiff plastic. Do you it like that? It is a stiff. Well, it's good. These are gnarly fish, you yeah, know. You a have soft to. plastic. It's like what one fish per bait. This will catch a few fish, you know. Right. That's interesting. It's a reaction bite. We're fishing these baits fast, you know. If you're kicking out a little wake behind them, then you're doing the right thing. Um, we fish way faster than you would ever fish for largemouth. I mean, we're burning these baits in like you're trying to catch a tuna. You know, it's a very fast presentation because you're looking for that reaction bait. And the ocean is a is a place where there's a lot of flux out here, you know? It's not like stagnant. These fish are used to yeah. hunting down like a, a, a fast moving bait, right? If you're a mackerel in the ocean, you're, you're moving fast. You're not sitting in one place. So our presentation is made to emulate the behavior of saltwater species, which generally have somewhere to be or something to get away from. And they prefer to do it fast. Yesterday we were talking, we wanted to do a tournament. Um, we wanted it to be a big tournament, and we we're gonna put a thousand dollars on the line. <laughs> Evan and Seth are a team. John and myself are a team, and Big Fish wins, just biggest calico. And right now, Seth's the only one who's caught fish, so we are a little worried. I missed one. There we go. Buddy is on, dude. There we go. On the board, bro. 
Was up, Ted? See, that's the kind of farm pond technique that's solid. Ooh, snap! Oh, got him Calico. Alive. I'm on the board. First ever calico aren't artificial. Such pretty fish. Actually, there's, you guys they're called kelp bass. Technical name, but I'm guessing they're called calicos just because of their pattern. Super gnarly. They're really red out here. They look, they look a lot different than the ones we were catching yesterday. A little swim bait. Jonathan, congrats on your first fish there. Thank you, man. He's got it, Perk. He's got it still. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> well, first calico on artificial for me. We caught one yesterday, but it was on live bait. This is my biggest one as well. Literally, that fish hit it three times, and I flipped him in the boat. I don't even know if it was ever really hooked. So I gotta, I gotta get my, uh, my process down. I gotta get these fish figured out because I definitely don't at this point. Oh, flip! These guys are a blast, man. I haven't even got a big one yet, and I'm enjoying these little wieners, wiener-sized kelp bass. Cool. Came up and just lit it up. That was so freaking bad. <laughs> Not only are you getting to like throw baits for these that are like so much fun to throw like swim baits, but you're vis visually watching some of these fish eat. That was a case where that guy just came out of nowhere and just crunched it. I love this, man. I don't have to stay here. Oh my gosh, there's a ton of them, yeah. Ooh, dude, there's silver over here. Look how different this fish looks opposed to the other ones we were just catching in the kelp. This guy came in like the abyss. He's like almost uh, a platinum. He's like silver. Crank the swim bait. God, they have teeth. Oh my God, I did not realize they had teeth. Nice fish, probably my biggest of the day, not saying much, but working the, working the way up the ladder. Dude, that is so cool how different this fish looks. AP's hooked up, right right as we were about to go in the release. So it's like, what is it? Little weenie. Oh, yes. <laughs> Little <we> weens. <laughs> that guy. Let me see yours. That is right there, a monster. Nice. Absolutely gorgeous. Killing it, dude. You were, you were just killing it we're out killing here. killing the game. Yeah. Honestly, that's, we're winning. Well, it's hooked up. Is it a good one? Yeah. Oh, he's got a good one. How's it feel? Good one. Oh, he's got a good one. Get him Come in. on, baby. Come on, baby. Bring my big one. Yeah, that's a big one for sure. Want to see this? Oh, get him. Get oh, it's a nice one, bro. He's got you in the kelp. Keep on it. Keep on it. Oh, nice oh, one. Dude. Get him in the boat. Yeah. Hey, look at that one. Oh, Woo! Oh, look at that one, bro. Oh my. That's the quality right there. That's a chunk right there. That thing is fat. She's been eating those. What, what is this thing imitating? The natural red crab? Uh, natural red crab. Yeah, like just a little red crab. So, a crustacean. That fish has been eating some natural red crabs right there. Just super, super fat, healthy. Holy cow. What do you think? Four pounds? No, dude, that's like a five pounder. Oh, really? Yeah. Look at the stomach. Look at the stomach, dude. Over there. These fish are like just suspending out in 40 feet of water on these tall, like, you can imagine these kelp. They're kind of like trees. They come all the way from the bottom and they're just super tall lengthy 40 foot weeds and these fish are just sitting inside of them and they're rolling swim baits by them i'm throwing a little little tube here and i'm just jigging that slowly i had a bunch of bites in the beginning on this and now it's been kind of slow but i don't want to put it down oh look at the flowers look at the flowers look at that oh look, at look at it look at it look at it look at it look down look down look at all the Oh my god, he has two! Get him in the boat! Oh, no way, they're good ones! Get him in the boat! Fuck him, fuck him! Oh! That's what it's all about, Dad! What did you do? You had two There's a double on the bank. They clouded up right underneath the boat, oh and I had gosh. one on, and then one of those guys tried to eat the bait out of its mouth and got hooked. 
Yeah, that will result in a double. Oh, we're going pound it. Oh, we're doubled. We're doubled. Yeah. Oh. I didn't even know we were doubled. <laughs> Dude, these calicos are eating bass crankbaits right now. That's like a Norman, like a custom painted Norman. <laughs> this is oh, no, no, no. oh my gosh, they're this everywhere. Oh, this is oh, hectic, God. dude. This is this is getting really hectic. As the sun starts to go down, the bite is picking up. This is, we gotta get these fish back in the water because they're biting right now. Look at these, oh God, look at that spotted giant, bro. Giant? Oh, you're there, right there. Look at him, look at him, look at him. Look at him, look at him. Oh, that's a pretty good one. They got a pretty decent one. <laughs> These fish are following in like every time we catch one there's at least 10 to 20 behind it chasing trying to get that bait out of that fish's mouth so you could pitch literally anything at those fish and eat it. Oh my gosh. This is stupid. It's just dumb in the best way That's possible. It's right. spinning up so yeah. much food. So many hookups. Get a big wolf back here. That is so Start one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. Wow. Dude. Look at that. Oh my god, look how big that one is. Oh. Dumb. That was dumb. That was dumb. Mine's pretty good. You got a good one. I got a good one. That's a nice one, George. That's a good one. Okay, you took your fifth last cast. He took yeah, his fifth good. last cast. Him, had a monster brown cloud of calicos falling him, and I threw in there. Got my biggest one ever. This is my biggest calico I've ever caught. This is rad. Oh, that was so cool. Broke the Boys, crankbait. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers too. There was like, what? That, that brown, I'm just like, no, there was like 20 of these things on this car. I'm like, oh my. Dude. All of them good, too. Bro. Except mine. Bro. That's what it's all about, man. That is just cow going in a nutshell. I'm gonna let this one go. Oh, oh my God, John! Oh. This is what we uh, wanted to catch yesterday, but the conditions were pretty off for it down south, and not a really terribly big one. Nice little five pounder, but that's a California yellowtail. Pounder? Five pound. pounder? Well, five pound. I thought you said it was a pound. I was like, that's way bigger. Looks like fish. They do look like amberjacks. Huh? They look like amberjack. This is kind of the premier West Coast inshore game fish that's not a calico bass. You know, we we fish these for a large portion of the year, and catching them on the jig like this is kind of the best way to do it. And I'm glad we got one. There it is. Hell yeah, Brent. There you go. Whew. Not too shabby. Not too shabby on the big swim bait. Look at the size of that bait, man. Some of the most aggressive fish I've ever targeted in saltwater. <laughs> Gnarly. Just barely ate it, too. That might be my last calico for the day. Pretty freaking nice one, if I don't say so myself. On the swim bait. That's my first swim bait fish, man. That's the first weed this fish? Yes. I is. did it. True Cali experience, catching calicos on weedless. Damn, that thing's nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy to think we had this whole island to ourselves, as far as bass fishing goes. Legendary day, thanks to these two. We're gonna head back in now, grab some food, right? Food. Big, big food. Big Love food. some food right now. <laughs> is there glue on your seat? Because you have not left that position in quite some time. See, the thing about me is, I just, I won the tournament. That's what I came here to do, was win the tournament. Won but, he the took, derby. but he took three casts with the tube, caught his seven. Then he, <laughs> yeah. went, he took a nap. He's like, this is all I can. I mean, I can't really blame you if I caught a giant fish and be like, well, what? I, there's there's nothing to hunt after that. It's like, oh, it's I, I think we got to disappear him on the way home. You yeah. know, like, yeah. whatever happened to that kid, Alex, I don't know. We lost him in the channel. He's just up there. <laughs> you know, he's like a sea lion on the rocks. Like, well, I'll sleep up here, I guess. All right, let's go get some margaritas, some yeah, food. Give me some food, some margs. <laughs> Sandwich. Are we gonna make it back? We're gonna try. No, Maybe. probably not. Hey, we've got 30 gallons, 35 gallons, right? And I'm, I do the calculations in my head. All right, ready? It says so, used 59. Okay, and it's a 95 <laughs> gallon tank, and you can say that the last five gallons is null. So I'm saying we've got 30 <laughs> gallons. We burn about 10, 11 <laughs> gallons an hour. 
We're about 60 miles away at that speed we're going 20 knots. We're Meanwhile, we're still fumes. burning more gas as we talk right yeah, now. Yeah, it's in We need there. to get home here. Now he's getting worried. Yeah, now I'm getting worried. worried. So we have parted ways with Seth and Evan. By the way, he chose those two boys, absolute legends for taking us two goops fishing. That was a rip, a dream come true, fishing for one of my favorite fish, my new favorite fish ever. I just was on the phone call with another dude named Wes, and we're gonna meet with him at the very tail end of this trip. This is kind of the grand finale. This is building up to something very big. Uh, we've been kind of trying to keep it a secret for the past few weeks as we've been going to the Never Stop Tour, but uh, we're hashing on the de details right now with Wes. We're gonna meet him basically 15 hours from where we're at currently in San Diego. So uh, what I'm trying to get at is we're, we're legitimately leaving the country just for this last portion of the trip. So we just got that squared away. Um, I think we called drop, that was kind of weird, but I might uh, might text him again tomorrow and then from there we, we have some really, really sick stuff to film for you guys. Like it's gonna be very different from how we started this trip. Last, or we started this trip literally throwing tiny swim baits for largemouth and uh, it'll end on quite an opposite note, a very good note, but, uh, but first we gotta get some in and out. This is what we're gonna bid for all of you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. We really hope you still in, are enjoying this whole series as much as we enjoy filming for you guys. It's uh, it's quite the trip. It's seriously the biggest road trip I've ever taken in my entire life. I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I'm enjoying this burger right now. Because Buddy is crushing. This thing is amazing. Yeah, this is pretty delicious. So we're signing out, peace and out. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, Keep fishing. Or this is so weird. I've never done this before. We're literally leaving the runner and the low behind for our next chapter of this journey. We're going on a plane to a different country, but. Unfortunately, we're done fishing off the boat, so we're, this thing's gonna get shipped back to my home in Dallas. This is crazy. It sucks, like I don't wanna leave the boat, I wanna fish off it some more, but that's that's a part of this whole journey, is it's like, we finished something, we completed something, we did calicos, we did largemouth, now it's time to hit something a little bit bigger. Um, and unfortunately, we can't we can't fly with the rig, so we're leaving this here. All right, well, we've got a day left in San Diego. Let's make the most of this. Let's go explore this, this beautiful city. Wow, we're like almost, this is what it feels like to be, I, I just feel like I don't have anything I, just, I feel like I just lost our everything. Our lights are massive. Oh, right we need to get it together, bud. Look at that, we just have a Look box. This. this is all we have. Welcome to Never Stop Tour. <laughs> this is what we got. Got some apparel, got some rods, full shads. You guys probably thought we were gonna sink the boat, didn't you? But we made it here safe, didn't blow up a skag. The plug stayed in most of the time. There was a few instances where we launched it without the plug, but it's fine. Big turn of events is about to go down these next few days, so. Stick with it, it's gonna be mega. San Diego meetup, that was fun. People who live in San Diego are just like nice. Like I feel like I come here, the anglers are chill, people are chill, everyone's blood pressure is so freaking low. But this is our last meetup, that's it dude. Four meetups down, four meet San, Diego, San Diego meetup was a huge success. Thanks to everyone who showed up and came out. Uh, we are now gonna link up with my buddy Kyle, who actually kind of helped make this trip happen. Throughout this entire time, we've been leading up to this big moment, that being, the final destination, which we're still gonna keep a secret, but um, he put me in contact, he put us in contact with a dude named Wes, who's going to take us fishing for a fish that we've never really caught. You've maybe caught once, you've caught kind once, of, kind of but caught. not really they fish. Didn't really the catch way, yeah. They didn't really catch it, kind Sardine, of whatever. Yeah, just. yeah. Anyway, we're gonna go grab a bite. Let's we're, get some food. Yeah, let's, let's go. <laughs>
current time, checking is 5.22 in the morning. We are about to embark on the biggest section of this journey. We got Richard, we got Ricky, we're about to hit it hard. Um, we got a layover in Phoenix, we'll make it to our final destination roughly around 12 p.m. and then from there we're gonna meet up with a dude by the name of Wes. And Wes is gonna teach us a way to fish that I have never attempted to do before my entire life. We have officially made it to Cabo San Lucas and we are doing something insane, but we've lost John in the process. This is this is Wes. Wes, how's it going? Wes. Wes. Doing good. Wes yeah. is a little bit taller than me. Look at this height difference right it's here. It's my high heels. <laughs> but Wes is going to take us on some of the coolest, probably the coolest thing we've done this whole trip. We're about to do some land-based crazy saltwater fishing. There's only one issue, like I said, we've lost John and we don't know where he is. He got taken in the back by a custom agent and we don't know what is going on, so. I know, what'd you put in his bag? I don't know, some, I might have put something in his bag. Did he give you the cavity search? No, oh, what's getting, going on? I'm getting the good old welcome. Where are you going? Here we are. The, what happened to you? The, the Why sun, just you? let Why me did, talk. The Why sun is shining, you? it's beautiful. I don't want to think about anything that bad that just happened because some kind of crusty stuff went down. Essentially, they found out that I was carrying two laptops, which may not seem like that big of a deal, but in fine print on your little customs paper is that you can only bring one laptop if you're gonna be traveling outside of the country to Mexico. So they found both my laptops. I don't, I'm not selling them. I'm not really using even the other one. I just have two uh, as a backup and I had to pay taxes for $140. USD, which is a little ridiculous, but like in the grand scheme of things, it's like whatever. Like if that's the price I have to pay to get one step closer to catching some monster fish with Wes, which by the way is, is here to be guiding us, um, then that's okay. I can live with that. So we're gonna get in this little uh, Tacoma here, rip down to a secluded location and get on with today's video. This is the big moment. This is really like the climax. Get ready for this. Tacos, Are you serious? Yes. You're getting tacos? Oh, wow. 